my life before I knew Jesus was lost. I felt very unworthy, purposeless, and insecurities ran rampant through my mind. Um, I didn't even feel like I was worthy of living on earth. I felt so alone and empty, even with so many friends and family that cared about me. My life was headed down a dark and lonely road in a path away from Jesus, where I were in a world that I thought I had complete control. Um, growing up and all throughout school, I had what seemed like a good life on paper. Um, I believed in Jesus and what he did, but that was about as far as that went. Um, I was great in school, got good grades, did good in sports, was a popular kid, had a lot of friends and family, and life was just going well. Um, after high school, I worked for a, a brief time and then I chose to go back to school and things still were going well. I only really ever talked to God when things were headed in the complete wrong way or I needed someone more than a human to help me. Other than that, I was, I was taken care of on my own. I was definitely a fan of Christ. I didn't follow him or what he said. Satan had me thinking and then believing that I was just a terrible person and a worthless human being. As these thoughts became more prevalent, it became a way of life after that. I turned to alcohol and working out, which became an eating disorder, to cope with my issues. I became a severe anorexic and then a severe alcoholic. I hurt many people, got in trouble with the law, and was near death both times. My life was one of a dark mind, someone who was very depressed, and more, most importantly, one of someone who did not know Jesus on a real level. My faith started to grow in the last two years slowly, but as many of you know, about a year ago, I was in a horrible accident and lost my fiance. Um, I died too in that hospital for about 10 minutes and while I died I left my body and came to a place more beautiful than you could ever dream of. Just fields of flowers everywhere and I suddenly felt someone tap me on the shoulder and I turned around and it was Lindsay, my fiance. We walked and smiled and laughed hand in hand and she led the way as if she knew exactly where we were. I wasn't sure. After a while, she kissed me and said, you have to go back now. And that's when I woke up in the hospital and started a long journey to real life again. My life now with Jesus is far beyond what I ever dreamed it could be. I find joy in the littlest everyday things that I could never have before. I now know that I belong in this world and I have a real purpose. I no longer live a dark and ghost-like life. I'm now also sober and free from any of the dark thoughts and stuff that I used to do. Um, I finally gave all my issues to God, especially being in that hospital unable to move, I gave everything up to him, and he broke me free from those chains that held me captive for so long. Um, I, I just love life now. I love being happy, and no, my life isn't perfect. I have troubles, but I have an almighty God that I know is with me, and I can get through anything. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling to know that. Um, I try to live as an example 
and love as an example of Jesus. Show him through just everyday life. I try to help any way I can because I have seen people help me in ways that I never thought possible. I'm just really grateful to have a Lord in Jesus and I am blessed to be alive. And I can say now I'm happy to be a follower of Christ through the good times and the bad.